Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Non-F Productions Trailer Set Upgrade Kit for Earthrise Optimus Prime. And this is a kit that you can order. I'll put a link down in the description below. It was back ordered for a while, but it came back in stock, so I was able to get one. And uh, it's, it's a really cool set that's gonna give us some really cool upgrades for the trailer. And uh, there's I think there's just a one for the Prime itself. Most of this is gonna focus on the trailer itself, which is really just gonna make this the ultimate Optimus Prime figure when we're done. When you got the Earthrise Prime with the toy hat stickers and the non-F set, this is just pretty much gonna be the ultimate Optimus Prime toy of modern times, I think. It's gonna be really, really cool. So again, this is available from Non-F Productions. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. It retails for $24.99. This is a set that sells out really quick. So if you wanna get one of these, you're gonna to wanna to watch it. Uh, and, and, and put an order in, maybe even if it's still back ordered, put your order in, make sure you guarantee yourself one because this is a hot, hot seller. So, as you can see here, a lot of these parts are, this is gonna be like a model kit. I, I haven't opened any of, of this yet, but I'm gonna be taking some parts out. I'm not gonna build them on camera, I'm just kinda, kinda, gonna kinda show you what we've got here. Uh, we got a little baggies with parts all over the place here, and we got a little base for a roller. Right, so we're gonna build this like this is a model kit and then we're gonna assemble it with Prime. So I'm gonna get to building and then we'll get on with the review once everything is ready to go. And here we have our Earthrise Optimus Prime with the non-F kit completely assembled and installed and I'm really super happy with it. This is such a cool little kit. The fact that it's a model kit that you get to put together, I love building model kits and Gundams and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed the build process. And what we end up with, the final product is just really, really cool. So starting off right here in the tractor trailer mode, right off the bat, you can see that Prime is just a little bit further away from the trailer itself. That's because we've got this new piece here that plugs into Prime, it's an extension. So it pushes the trailer back. And if I can get it lined up right. There we go. So it just pushes the trailer back a little bit, makes it look a little nicer, uh, a little more realistic, and it gives it all that clearance that he needs to turn now. So that's really, really nice. Plus we've got uh, the outriggers here on the side and we've got some actual wheel skirts here on the back uh, again. So this gives us, again, gives us a little more room so that we can have Prime connected to the trailer with the outriggers and everything else and nothing gets in the way of really anything else. That is really super nice. We can go ahead and take Prime off. And you know, this piece, you can do whatever with it. You can leave it right there, or you can leave it attached to Prime, or you can actually plug it into one of the back pieces on the back of the trailer, one of the ports inside of the trailer, completely up to you. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So we've got our, our normal outriggers are still here, okay? But we have these now. Uh, let's just get in a little closer. We've got the wheel wells themselves or the wheel skirts right there and the outriggers look really, really nice. Going around the back, we've got ourselves a new bumper with actual tail lights and I put a little uh, Toy Hacks Convoy uh, license plate right there. And we've got an entirely new back door that is actually going to open like G1 style where it's actually gonna just unclip and come all the way down and create that ramp for roller to come out. We'll get into that in just a moment. So yeah, this is really nice that the ramp goes up and down. It's really nicely molded. It actually looks like truck doors. It's got the two tabs on the top there, just like the G1 figure did. And it also makes for the ramp pieces. So that is really, really nice. And then just again, going all the way around. For the outriggers themselves, to deploy the outriggers, we're gonna do a little bit of parts forming, which is fine. We're gonna take these, these are just plugged into these ports right here. So these are just gonna come straight out 
just like you would expect them to. And we're going to take these feet right here. These are going to come off. The tolerances on these are super, super tight. So I am going to be fiddling with this a little bit. So this is going to come out. We're going to turn it around and then we're just going to pop it in right back in the same place where it was just like that. And that's going to extend it so that these feet can actually touch the ground. So we'll do the same thing on this side and just pop this guy off again. These are super, super tight on the tolerances. It's a good thing I didn't build this in, uh, in front of the camera. Because uh, you would have seen me fidgeting a lot. So there we are. That is what the outriggers look like when they're deployed. Get everything straightened out. And then you can set it down and check that out. Very cool. So now this is going to provide support for the sides of the trailer when we open that up. So let me bring the camera up just a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the trailer. So again, we're going to take that ramp and pull it all the way down. And then we're going to split our trailer in half. And here we go. Uh, right off the bat, we got a lot of stuff to look at in here. So real quick, first thing we're going to look at is our new roller. And you have to assemble this guy completely. So there he is. He's really, really neat. The wheels do turn, but again, tolerances are super tight. So he doesn't like roll freely. I'm sure uh, this can be worn down enough to where it will roll eventually. But right now it's super new. It's super tight. So it's not really rolling a whole lot. And uh, you've got a little uh, well here in the front that you can open up so you can store stuff in there. Uh, Titan Master figures uh, will fit in here. The little Headmaster figures will fit in here. So you can have some little Titan Masters driving around on roller, which is really, really cool. You got three ports on the back. So I've got, and there's a little translucent, um, it almost looks like an LED here on the back. So you can put that there. You got, again, you got three ports, so you can put this pretty much anywhere. And then you've got yourself your uh, little fuel gauge here, uh, which does come with a little string. Uh, so that's your, your actual fuel hose. And uh, again, you can, you know, kind of roll around with roller and go provide fuel for everybody else. Uh, so you can do that uh, here or you can mount the fuel gauge again or the fuel pump itself anywhere on the trailer and then you can take one of the weapons and pop them in the ports instead. Uh, I like my roller with the fuel pump so that's just kind of the way that I have it. I just think that looks really really nice and then I just go ahead and tuck in the string right there. So. Uh, Something weird on the actual handle pump itself on mine. Usually, you know, when you're building a model kit, one side will have little holes and the other side will have little pegs and that's how they, you know, go together. On my pump itself, both halves had holes, no pegs. So, um, so I actually had to glue mine uh, together. So uh, this is permanent on mine. Let me see if, again, super tight. So I'm, being, I'm trying to be very careful just so you can kind of see what that looks like, which is really, really cool. And again, you can take any of these weapons. I have this 3D printed one here. And then you can pop that guy right in there. And then, you, I don't know, just put that in there, I guess. And there you go. So you can drive around uh, shooting and pumping gas. Maybe you can make a flamethrower. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So that's that's really cool. We'll set that off to the side. And we'll just leave roller right there. Uh, getting into the trailer itself, we've got a couple new things in here. So you see, we've got now those little command stations. Uh, for the inside of the trailer and they just peg in again. There's ports on the trailer themselves uh, Itself and there's ports up here So that's where these guys are pegged into and you can take them off and peg them pretty much anywhere else or reorient them or whatever You want to do uh, so you can you have the freedom to put these pretty much anywhere you want again I'm going with the G1 thing. So that's where I went with and then on the repair drone itself We've got a couple of things here as well. So we'll get this guy up and out and right off the bat, let's bring out his little arms. And then we have this little attachment for this arm right here. So we've got the little repair claw. And then on this other arm, we've got this little radar dish. So we can have the little radar dish just like the G1 figure, plus the repair claw, just like that. And then we also got these two little missiles. And I've seen the colors vary on these. I've seen some people have silver ones. Mine came in black. I guess that's just kind of look of the draw how that worked out for me. Uh, and I like it. I like, I like them in black, so that looks really nice. So we can do, let me adjust that right there. And uh, yeah, that, check it out. That is, <laughs> that is very, very cool. And I think with this, we now have uh, the ultimate Optimus Prime figure. I need to do that, like that. That is so, so cool. Again, not a whole lot here to do with Prime itself other than that little trailer piece. Uh, to extend the connection and again you can when you're not using it you can leave it here you can leave it on prime or you can use any one of these ports to put it away and and i just think that's really really super cool it just kind of gives us uh again the ultimate 
uh, retail, regular retail Optimus Prime figure that we've wanted. So if you can get yourself the Earthrise Optimus Prime, if you can get the Toy Hacks sticker set for it, and if you can get the non-F Productions upgrade kit for the trailer itself, you're going to have uh, what I consider to be the perfect modern Prime. This is an absolutely amazing set that just did nothing but improve an already awesome, awesome figure. And I think that about does it for the non-F Productions Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer upgrade kit. What did you think of this kit? Let me know down in the comments below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button up there. If you want to hit on that, I would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.